Okay, what's up, church? We're going to share another devotion today, and the name of, devotion, of the devotion today is How to Consider It All Joy. Now, this is one of those verses in the scriptures that a lot of people struggle with, uh, but actually it's one of my favorite scriptures. And it's in James chapter 1, starting in verse 2, and it says, Consider it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance, and let endurance have its perfect result, so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Now, when you read this verse, don't mistake what God's trying to say here. He's not saying, be happy when things are, are going tough for you. That's, that's not what he's trying to say. He's not trying to tell you that, oh yes, my car broke down. Thank you, Jesus. That's not, that's not what he's trying to say. What he's trying to say is, listen, you're going you're gonna to go through the same struggles that everyone else goes through. That's normal. We live in this world and we're citizens of this world. But what he's saying here is, there's a reason that you're allowed to go through all the struggles that you go through. And that when you go through those struggles, God's going to teach you something about Him. The thing He teaches us is that even when things are difficult and out of our control, if we're willing to surrender ourselves to Him in that situation, rather than get angry and throw stuff and pout and blame God, if we're willing to just surrender ourselves to Him in that situation, He's going to show you how faithful He is to keep every promise He ever made. He promised that He would sustain us. He promised He would be our source of strength. I think the reason we don't see that very often is because when we get in one of these difficult trials, we don't consider it all joy. We feel like He's picking on us. The truth is, we should actually maybe even pray for more opportunities to go through struggles and go through difficulties because it would give us a second chance to actually live what we profess and trust those situations to God. When we do that, and He comes through for us, it builds our confidence. And when our confidence is built over these daily problems that everybody faces, as we start facing the bigger problems that come in life, we will have a confidence that's already mature and trained. And with that confidence, we'll be able to face it without fear. People around us are going to notice that. And when they notice that kind of confidence, it's going to make them want to check out what the source of that confidence is in your life. I hope you really take this to heart. Thanks a lot for spending some time with us today.